This program is designed to introduce you to the 767 Interphone systems by describing the function and location of each of the major components within each system. The 767 Interphone systems consist of the Flight Interphone System, Cabin Interphone System, Service Interphone System, Ground Crew Call System, and the Passenger Address System. These systems provide a communications network for the airplane. Power for the systems is supplied through the circuit breakers on the P-11 panel in the flight compartment. One of the primary components of the 767 interphone systems is an audio selector panel. This panel permits the flight crew to select an audio system for transmission or reception. All of the interphone systems can be monitored and communications accomplished with all other stations through the use of this panel. All three of the audio selector panels are located in the flight compartment in the following locations. On the left side of the control stand, the captain's panel, on the right side of the control stand, the first officer's panel, and on the P-17 panel, the first observer's panel. Another primary component for the interphone systems is the audio accessory unit. The audio accessory unit is a line replaceable unit and contains the circuitry necessary to interface all the systems together. The audio accessory unit is located in the main equipment center on the E25 rack. Caution, this assembly contains electrostatic sensitive devices. The first system to be shown is the flight interphone system. The flight interphone system provides communication between each member of the flight compartment and communication with the ground crew. The captain, first officer, and first observer have headsets and boom microphones provided for communication. In addition, the flight interphone system interfaces with the voice recorder to provide voice inputs for these crew members. The second observer has only a headset for listening. Jack panels for the flight compartment are located at the following areas. On the P-15 panel, the captain's jack panel. On the P-16 panel, the first officer's jack panel. On the P-17 panel, the first observer's jack panel. And on the P-18 panel, the second observer's jack panel. Each jack panel, for the captain, first officer, and first observer, provides two plug-in connections. The first connection, boom mic headset, permits these flight crew members to transmit or listen through the audio selector panel. The other connection, headphones, allow monitoring of selected communications from the audio selector panel. The second observer's jack panel provides for monitoring of communications from the first officer and first observer. A flight interphone jack, located at the nose landing gear on the P-40 APU remote control panel, provides the ground crew with the capability of communicating with the flight compartment. Seven press-to-talk, or PTT switches, are located at three different areas in the flight compartment. One switch is located on each of the three audio selector panels. Another switch is located on each of the two outboard horns of the glare shield panels. The last PTT switches are located on the captain's and first officer's control wheels. The second system is the cabin interphone system. The cabin interphone system provides voice communication between cabin attendants and members of the flight compartment. Conversations may be held between specific stations or on a party line basis. Located in the flight compartment on the P-5 panel, the pilot's call panel. There are several switch lights on this panel. The select call VHF. These lights alert the flight crew of a ground to air call received by the VHF communication system. Cabin forward, mid, aft, and alert. 
These lights alert the flight compartment personnel of an attendance call for voice communication. The switches provide the capability for alerting the cabin attendants from the flight compartments for voice communications. The ground crew call light switch for the ground crew call system. And the PA in use light for the PA system. There are five cabin attendant stations in the 767 passenger compartment. Forward left and right, mid, and aft left and right. Voice communication is provided through handsets. This handset, at the left forward attendance panel, is typical of the units installed throughout the cabin. A single digit touch tone dialing system is used to address calls to specific stations. There are five dialing push buttons and an alert push button on the handset. Momentarily pressing the forward, mid, or aft push button causes a high-low chime to sound. At all attendant speakers and a steady pink call light to illuminate on the left and right ceiling at the call station. The call can be answered by any handset. Pressing the pilot's push button from the attendant's handset causes a steady blue call light on the pilot's call panel to illuminate and a single high chime to sound. The alert priority call push button is guarded. Momentarily pressing this push button causes the attendant speakers to repeat the high-low chime three times. All attendant stations get a flashing pink call light. The pilot station gets a single high chime and a steady alert light on the pilot's call panel. The reset switch cancels the alert call and allows the calling party to reset the calling logic to place another call. This is also done automatically when the handset is replaced on the cradle. A pilot's handset, identical to the others, is located on the P8 pilot's aft electronics panel. The service interphone system provides the means for communications among all service locations and any flight or cabin interphone station. There are several interior and exterior service interphone jacks located on the airplane. The interior jacks are located in the following locations. The P-39 aft compartment cargo handling access panel, the P-35 forward compartment cargo handling access panel, the aft bulkhead of the nose wheel well in the main equipment center, and the weather radar mount just forward of the nose wheel. The exterior service interphone stations are located in the following areas. The P-40 APU remote control panel, the P-28 fueling panel on the leading edge of the left wing, the stabilizer jack screw service area beneath the stabilizer, on the forward bulkhead of the APU compartment, and on the P-56 right wheel well service panel. Located on the P-61 flight recorder control panel, a system on-off switch. The interior service interphone jacks are active regardless of the position of this switch. The exterior service interphone jacks, however, are switchable, and the switch must be in the on position to activate the microphone lines. Members of the flight compartment can communicate with the service interphone stations by selecting the service interphone microphone and listen switches on their audio selector panels. The cabin attendants can communicate with the service interphone stations by picking up their handsets and talking. The ground crew call system allows members of the flight compartment to alert ground personnel in order to initiate voice communications. The ground crew call switch is part of the pilot's call panel located on the P-5 overhead panel. A ground crew call horn is located in the nose wheel well area. It is on the right side near the aft bulkhead. Pressing the ground crew switch light on the pilot's call panel sounds the horn to alert the ground crew. 
The horn will also sound a warning automatically to alert ground personnel in case of critical equipment cooling or power failures. The ground crew can also call the flight compartment by pressing the flight deck call switch on the P-40 APU panel. To alert the flight compartment members, a chime sounds and a blue call light illuminates on the pilot's call panel. The last system is the passenger address system. The passenger address system allows members of the flight compartment, or cabin attendants, to make announcements to the passengers. The passenger address amplifier is the core of the PA system and is located in the main equipment center on the E25 rack. The passenger address amplifier provides power amplification of audio signals to drive the passenger address speaker network. Logic circuits within the amplifier establish priority of the input audio. An internal chime within the amplifier generates musical tones for passenger and attendant alerts. The passenger address system may be accessed by handset dialing. Pressing the PA push button causes the PA in use light on the pilot's call panel to illuminate. The press to talk or PTT switch on the handset is used only during the PA function. If the cabin interphone system fails, the dialing system automatically switches the handset to the PA system. Priority for PA calls is automatically established so that the most urgent messages are delivered. Pilot announcements have the first priority. This is followed by attendant messages. Speakers such as these are located at every other passenger service unit in the cabin as well as at both the left and right attendant stations in the lavatories and galleys. Located in the main equipment center on the P-37 panel, the boarding music power relay. Controls are located in the left forward attendance panel. The on-off and volume control and the channel select control. Recorded music is available on four different channels and comes from the entertainment tape reproducer in the main equipment center. This concludes this module on the 767 Interphone Systems. You have been shown the location and function of each of the major components within each system.